This is Professor Michael Chapman. I'm one of the most experienced IVF doctors in Australia. I believe that an important part that I can contribute is to educate patients in relation to fertility, infertility, and all that that involves. These series of podcasts help to educate you. I hope they are helpful to you. If you wish to know more, however, I'm more than happy to have you contact me via email, which is profmchapman at gmail.com, or make an appointment to see me on 91384222 What can I take to improve my egg quality from Sally? <laughs> If I knew that I would be a billionaire <laughs> because it's a question everybody asks particularly if you're getting over the age of 40 the internet will tell you that there are a thousand different things that you can buy by uh, advertised by the people who are selling them but the evidence for any of them is almost zero the most important thing is not to do any harm by whatever you end up taking in my in animal studies i e mice there've been evidence that melatonin helps that coq10 helps that nmm helps that dhea helps to improve the in old mice more eggs more offspring none of those in randomized controlled trials in humans have demonstrated a significant improvement however uh, there is no harm in taking them other than to your bank balance so uh, if you want to take something in the hope that it may improve things because you read on the internet that mrs blogs got a pregnancy after she started to melatonin and you believe that then feel free to do it and you can tell I'm a skeptic i am not convinced that any of these things make much difference that the the pregnancies that occur in people who do all these alternative therapies the truth is that pregnancies occur <laughs> if you do nothing there'll be pregnancies occurring and until you prove that the frequency of pregnancies is higher when you take any of these then it's just nature it it's not the medications and um, it, it upsets me that people are being to some extent conned into taking lots and lots of different things but your friend got pregnant when she took it having had three failed ivf cycles she took x and she got pregnant the next time it would have happened anyway but if you've got faith in it, it gives you it gives you more comfort then take it that's fine but there is no scientific evidence for any of these otherwise we'd be using it on everybody when we start using something on everybody then you know that it's real and don't forget that you can access all the previous episodes by going to our website www.theivfjourney.com and select ivf journey podcast from the navigation menu